Alright folks, uh, today I'm going to show you how to start up a generator for the first time. We had a big thunderstorm in uh, Maryland last night and uh, I was lucky enough to get to the store this morning to pick up the last 4,000 watt generator. It's a little different uh, starting this for the first time than it is if you've had something for uh, up and running for many hours. But uh, I'm going to open it up, show you how to do everything and in the future if you uh, have a generator uh, you can see how to do it for the first time. Get yourself a uh, pliers to pull those giant staples out. You can hear the generators in the neighborhood going already. Rather than ruin my back, I thought I'd ruin the box. Pull it straight out. Later on, I'm going to get a little $5 dolly from Harbor Freight, probably just to push this around and make it convenient. Okay, I bought a Predator. It runs on 3200 watts with a max of 4000 watts. Uh, today's going to be about 100 degrees out. Kind of a bad combination of thunderstorms and heat wave, but that's how it goes. 3200 watts, I just checked out our refrigerator and our, our portable air conditioning unit that we have. I cool for the garage, that's about a 900 watt unit. So this will run my refrigerator and freezer, which is important. It'll run an air conditioner that would keep a few rooms cool and have the children be comfortable. And uh, it'll probably run a couple accessories, a few, uh, few lamps, uh, as well as maybe charge the laptop and run the router so we get this on the internet. Uh, looks nice and shiny. Uh, we just have to make sure we keep it secure. So I'm probably going to chain it to a uh, tire of my uh, SUV here. And we'll run it right out here in the driveway. Okay, this model, it's a Predator generator, uh, 4000 max watt. Uh, generator. Everything you need to know comes on these handy little uh, plastic laminated sheets. Uh, pretty simple to do, but some things you have to do or you'll ruin the generator right off the bat. You need to add engine oil to the crankcase. We're going to do that. Then we'll add fuel to within one inch of the rim. On the side we'll go from choke to uh, from run to choke, open the fuel valve, switch to switch to on, and then give it a crank. That should start it up and we'll go over the details of that as we go through it. I took the camera off the tripod to show you where the oil is on this model. Step one of this is to fill the gas up. It's got a nice uh, gas filter on top. It's got a great screen inside to protect it from uh, particulate matter that get in there. It's supposed to fill that up, step one, to uh, within one inch of the top. Step two is to add engine oil to the crankcase. On this model, that is way down here. Here is the engine crankcase. So it's warm out, so we're going to use 10W30. 10 That's the weight for the warm weather stuff. And because of the awkward position of this, it's literally six inches off the ground underneath the unit. I'm going to use my trusty long neck filter. Hopefully that'll fit. And I may have to, uh, may have to angle that up just a little bit. So we'll add, uh, I'll see the capacity of that the oil, add that, we'll add the gas, and then give it a crank. Okay, time to add gas. Just gonna use regular octane. I use a filter so I don't ruin the paint job on these things. Make sure it don't splash. There's the 
there's a fuel gauge on the top of this model. As it fills up, the red line increases. So we're about half full, but that's all the gas I have. We'll have to go get some more. Seal it up. Final step here is to uh, adjust the choke and give it a couple pulls. The choke is this lever on the side above the air filter. Directions say we have to close the choke. Full close is the small part of the uh, triangle. Open the fuel valve. It's got a nice diagram up here. Open is straight down or vertical, up and down. And we've added fuel, so now we can turn it on. On switch to on, and we pull the starter handle, and then we'll slowly choke it back to run. So here goes. And I'm going to talk loud as it's going, but it seems to be running pretty well right now.